Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I will be showing how to set up a Proxmox cluster um, that I'm also doing in my home lab uh, today. You can start by navigating to the IP address of your first node. We will use this node to start our cluster integration. You can start by signing you with the username root and your password. From the data center menu, go to cluster and start by creating cluster. Give it a, a name that's useful for you. And click create. In the meantime, you can go to your second uh, node that you will be going to use for your cluster. In my example, we'll be using a three node uh, cluster. This time, instead of creating cluster, click uh, join cluster. In the first node, uh, you will see that the join information option is available now. You can click this to copy the information over. You can paste it in and you will see that it will now ask for a password. This is your uh, password for your first node that it will be joining. You can select the, the link of your cluster network. This is if you only have one interface, this is not uh, mandatory, uh, but it is recommended. Do the same for your uh, third node of your cluster. Also go to the IP address, sign in with uh, the user information. Go to cluster and join cluster. Copy over the join information. Enter the root password of your first node. Again, your first uh, node. And click join. The connection will be uh, lost, so you have to refresh for your second, third node. But if you can see them in your first node, then it's okay. Now that we have uh, joined our nodes to the cluster, we will go to uh, Ceph. And Ceph will uh, help us to consolidate our storage between our nodes. Just select uh, No Subscription, select Next. And when it uh, prompts for a confirmation, you can press uh, Y to confirm. Uh, so like I said, we will do this on uh, our three nodes. And Ceph will be used for our a storage consolidation so every node has a, an extra disk uh, inside that will be used for our data and for our virtualization uh, machines um, by installing Ceph our nodes will consolidate storage between three nodes and over the network one big uh, storage uh, rate uh, you can call it will be uh, created so when we go to our third node we will also install Ceph And from the first node, we can start our configuration. We will create uh, a monitor that will monitor our uh, our storage uh, health. Select next. For the second and third node, this will not be needed to uh, configure. I'm a little bit too fast for our second node, but normally there should be a, a message that says configuration is already uh, already done. So we can just close this. And we go to our third node, we press next, and you will see the configuration is already initialized, so it's already okay.
what we will do next is go back to our uh, for example second uh, node doesn't doesn't really matter we'll go to uh, Ceph go to monitor and we'll add our second and third node also to be a, a monitor so if in case our first node is down for let's say maintenance or, or schedule reboot uh, the other ones can take over Now we'll go to OSD, from Seth, OSD from our first uh, node, and we create our uh, disk drive. So this is our uh, extra data disk that's inside our nodes. I'm we'll just edit from our uh, first, second, and third node. And you don't have to do it uh, through the, the interface of every node. So like you can see, now we'll go to our second node through the web interface of our first node because they are now uh, joined inside the, the cluster. The, all the uh, extra nodes, physical nodes, are now available in one, uh, one pane. So we can create our OSD drives from here. Now that the OSD drives are added, we can create a storage pool. So we go back to Ceph to pools, and we can create one big uh, disk over our uh, three nodes. It's one one uh, rate uh, array across the network. Um, not to demonstrate the storage. We will create a temporary uh, virtualization give it the name press next don't have any isos uh, available right now so we just select uh, do not use any media go next you can select for example windows 10. for the windows 10 they recommend to uh, select a qamo uh, agent also to select an ice uh, SCSI, uh, disk for example 46 uh, gig for our pool, we select our newly created uh, uh, storage. We select right back and discard for also the best uh, disk performance. For example, give it two cores, uh, four gigs of memory. And for our memory, mem uh, network, uh, uh, sorry, we'll select a uh, pair virtualized virtual IO for also the best performance. Now we can select finish to demonstrate that you can also create a template and just give the VM a minute to uh, initialize. Now we can create a template from this uh, virtual machine. And instead of going through the steps all over again all the time to create a new, uh, new virtual machine, you can just create a, a template. And when it's done, you will see that the icon of the uh, machine changes to indicate that it's a template. We can clone this as a linked clone. So in this uh, example, we'll create a full clone. Uh, full clone is not uh, has, has nothing to do with, with its parent's uh, template. Um, so you can do it what you want. You can also migrate it. You will see in this example, I will try to migrate our template. Um, so you will see in just a second that it will uh, abort because uh, you cannot migrate your template. And now we'll uh, try to migrate our virtual machine. And you will see that you can migrate it to a node 2 or 3. So in this example, we will choose node 2. Uh, and because the uh, storage is shared, it's almost instantly that you will migrate. Now do it again to node 3, for example. And there you go. That's how you create uh, a cluster in uh, Proxmox. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a new, uh, new style. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll hope to see you next time.